Nuclear power can be taken as one of the most reliable sources of energy. This is because nuclear fuel is very dense and contains a large amount of energy in a small amount of matter. This energy can be extracted by the fission of radioactive elements like uranium. To know more about nuclear fission, check out the link in the description for our video on nuclear power. Nuclear power plants generate electricity by using the heat generated during nuclear fission to power the turbo generators. Thus, harnessing the world's most concentrated energy source in a safe manner is of prime importance. There can be various threats to the safety of nuclear power plants. Factors like human error and faulty design can lead to disasters like the Chernobyl accident that occurred on 26th April 1986. Since most of the nuclear power plants are located near the coast for easy availability of water, it becomes important to ensure the safety of plants in case of natural disasters like tsunamis, cyclones and earthquakes. The Fukushima Daiichi accident that occurred on 11th March 2011 was caused by such events. The tsunami disabled the power supply, thereby stopping the cooling and resulting in a nuclear meltdown. So, the safety of nuclear power plants must be ensured at many levels. Starting from the core, the fuel is enclosed in fuel cladding made of metal tubes. Fuel cladding prevents the release of fission products into the coolant and also prevents the corrosion of fuel by the coolant. This whole setup is then placed in a thick steel reactor vessel. Steel is used to minimize corrosion. To safely contain all this, an airtight containment building is used. These buildings have thick walls of steel reinforced concrete to contain the released nuclear material in case of an emergency. But most of these systems require electricity. Thus, backup generators are used to help power all the necessary systems required to keep the reactor running properly. Furthermore, the control rods are designed to fall under gravity into the core in case electric power is cut off. To ensure that there is no harmful effect of radiation on the environment, monitoring of radioactivity is done. People working in the power plant are also constantly monitored for overexposure to radiation. The waste generated in the nuclear power plant is also disposed of safely such that it does not affect the environment. The solid waste from the power plant is kept in a near-surface disposal facility which is constructed to contain the radioactive waste until it decays, whereas the liquid waste generated undergoes various processes like segregation, chemical treatment, evaporation, ion exchange and filtration before being discharged safely. On the other hand, the gaseous wastes are treated at the source of generation. After being filtered and diluted to comply with the regulatory limits, it is discharged into the environment. While there is no guarantee of safety with any industrial or fuel plant, the possibility of accidents in a nuclear power plant is always low and declining. Thus, the efficiency and sustainability of nuclear power makes it a good alternative to fossil fuels and a reliable energy source. Well, these are all the measures for safety in a nuclear power plant. Stay tuned for more interesting content. Until the next time, bye.